back. Welcome to our flagpole prayer service this morning. Our scripture passage for this month comes from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, He will command his angels concerning you. And on their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him again, It is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Again the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, All these I will give you, if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Be gone, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him alone shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and were ministering to him. John's going to lead our morning reflection. Thank you. When Jesus entered the desert, he knew he'd be faced with tempta temptation in the midst of pain. He set a goal to withstand these temptations and made a promise to himself and his Father to prove his commitment to salvation. Now it's hard to relate this to our lives because most people in their right minds aren't going to camp for, in the woods for 40 days with no food. But imagine if you did. Imagine how hungry you'd be and how thirsty you'd be after going 40 days with no food or water. Now imagine how good Chick-fil-A would taste after going that long without any food. Metaphorically speaking, God wants us to feel that good all the time. He also said it wouldn't be easy. Sometimes in life we have to deal with curveballs and avoiding such temptations. In a profound way, Jesus wants us to learn how to navigate the difficult roads. Perseverance is one of the most talked about subjects in faith. It's also not easy to learn. It takes courage, discipline, and faith. I learned this through my parents' divorce. It's been about five years, but it feels like the news hits me every day. I pack up my clothes, schoolwork, guitars, and lacrosse bag every Monday night to move houses. Each day, I have to tell both my parents my daily plans, report my, cur my current lacrosse game performance, and provide an update on how school is going. When I forget to when I forget to tell one of them, they get frustrated. If I hesitate to move houses one week because I am overwhelmed, I feel, one feels like I favor the other. It doesn't seem fair. Sometimes I wish I could just stay in one place without having to move. But I bet Jesus wanted to turn the stones into bread and take a bite. That would prove nothing about strength, courage, or faith. But it's in times like this when we are, when we, or it's times when we are in the most pain, when we find ourselves wanting to give up more than ever. A few years ago, I was training for lacrosse with my dad coaching me. I was exhausted and worn out after my workout. My dad told me to run one more lap uh, on the track in less than a minute to prove that I was ready to compete in my upcoming tournament. I responded to something like, are you kidding me? I'm tired. Let's go home. But he then told me something I'll never forget. He said, you know, John, sometimes in life you got to put your head down and grind through whatever lies before you and never give up, especially when greatness is right in front of you. I ran the lap in 63 seconds, but it was more about the challenge and how I chose to bust one more sprint out rather than getting in the car and going home. I think about what my dad told me that day all the time. Whenever I'm tied down to schoolwork, moving houses, struggling with friends, or any other time when I'm short of, short of success, I tell myself to put my head down, bust through it, and do whatever it takes to achieve my goals. In this season of Lent, it's important to remember that similar to Jesus in the desert, we are all on the brink of greatness.